Uh, Healing Peace Podcast is here today. We have been talking about our tools and tips for spiritual and emotional connection. And we've been having a great time having Deanne on the show. We talked about how God wants us to be successful, how he supports us, and how he is alighted when we are working in our strengths. And of course, with our tools and tips, we like to give you guys tangible methods so that you can have for your everyday walk to be inspired and encouraged and strengthened and on that transformation train. All right. So one tip that we have from this incredible segment on spiritual and emotional connection is dealing with our strengths. Deanne did a great job of identifying that when we are working in our strengths, that the world opens up and there's so much opportunity because we're focused on the things that we're good at. And so this tip, this one tip is to identify your strengths. And while you're identifying your strengths, I would like you to pick about four or five weaknesses and create a list. Put the weaknesses on one side, put the strengths on the other side. And the reason I'm requesting that you put down those weaknesses is so that as time progresses, we all know the enemy is going to come back and he's going to tell you that, hey, you know, you're not good in this area. You know, you probably need to do better. But if you have on your list the items that you already identified about your weaknesses, you're like, hey, the enemy, I already know this. You cannot accuse me in this area of my life. And so when those things come up, you can flip through and go to your strengths and you look through the list. And he may say, hey, you're not good at listening, but you can say, hey, I am great at engaging with people in a way that they may not be aware of who they are and, and able to have those deeper conversations. And so you may think that you're not good at listening, but in order to engage with people in that way, you actually are listening. So sometimes in our list, even though you may identify them as weaknesses, sometimes they're actually hidden strengths but they're just a matter of just cultivating them. And so you guys, these are some of the great things that we talk about. We have 10 wonderful strategies to keep you motivated and excited about staying spiritual and emotional connected. And of course, those elements there about God. And then there's elements about ourselves because when we're in tune with ourselves and we're feeling great about who we are, we're able to come out and it overflows and it packs those around us. And you may be saying, hey, this is great but I still need help trying to figure out my strengths. Come here, what do you suggest? Well, in the tools and tips, we do have a suggestion to help you figure those things out. So again, come and listen, but I also want you to join us for our November 9th Discover Your Purpose workshop. It's gonna be at 7 p.m. CST. We're gonna have a great time, a very supportive and fun environment where we just delve into our strengths we delve into who we are. And of course, in the midst of that, delve into how God is with us during our journey. So come check us out in uh, the description or the comments you will see and, and, and be able to find our full episode wherever you listen to podcasts. We're there, a uh, healing piece. Check us out. You're going to really enjoy it. And I'll see you next time.